Hey, what's up, you guys? Craft Farms, and welcome back to Forest River. So, today, we are going to get our uh, bales collected and hauled out. But first, we got to clean up uh, the neighbor's baler here. So, we're going to just run into the yard, run up to our pressure washer here. And uh, give it a quick wash. And then we'll unhook the baler back in his building and grab the uh, trailer. Hopefully we can make a little bit of money. Run it down. So I apologize for today's video coming out uh, later than normal. Um, last weekend I had only gotten recorded as far as uh, yesterday's video. And then uh, had some other stuff to get done. So I am just now getting a chance to get this one recorded uh, auto save lovely all right let's get this backed in Let's grab the loading wagon. Perfect. Now let's go load our bales up and see what we can make in terms of uh, little bit of cash. So I've had a few responses so far from you guys on, uh, what we should do with the farm and uh, had a few comments for beef cattle um, also heard running an all John Deere farm um, so might be working ourselves towards uh, running some cattle At uh, some point here, obviously we got to make it uh, through our first year or two. If we have a good enough year, <clears throat> this first year here, then uh, we might um, get into some animals. But for right now, that's kind of on the back burner. Okay, and there's that field.
got one more bale. And then uh, we're out of here. Perfect. Let's head on down and uh, see what we can get from this. And then uh, we'll think of what we're going to do next. If we're going to put in some winter crop, I might. Beans are looking pretty nice. Should hopefully be a uh, good yield over there. So does our corn. Corn looks really nice. Now we just got to go all the way to the back. And then we can get this unloaded. This isn't really a path. Okay. Whoops. see here we've got 14 bales it's almost 7700 bucks well it is 7700 bucks with our uh, environmental reward so that is not bad so what we're going to do now is we're going to take a look here at what we have for cedars because I would kind of like to trade in our drill for a little bit bigger of one. So we could get this deer for $70,000. Or we could get the Great Plains for 70000 So, it needs 125 horsepower. So, we could pull it with anything. Okay, well, I think we are going to trade in our drill. And, uh... Get ourselves looking at a new one here. And uh, then we might seed some uh, winter crop. Set up a little goofy, but canola you plant in the fall on this, um, which should be changed, honestly. Uh, canola is a springtime crop. Wheat would be one that we could plant in the fall, though. But we'll work with it. So we're going to run this back and get this tractor and 
wagon cleaned up for him and then we'll run it back and uh, I think we'll go ahead and grab our um, we'll bring the pickup up and grab that drill and we'll take it down and trade it in I do really, really like this uh, 6R. This is a nice tractor. I would not mind uh, having one in the future. Granted, this yard is way too small for a setup like this. Perfect. All right, let's get this stuff dropped and uh, get the trade done. Make sure that we don't hit his building. That would not be fun. All right, perfect. Get that unhooked. And then we'll just back this back into his building here. And uh, call it good. Sweet. Alright. And off we go. We were a little ways off, but oh well. Oh. All right, let's get this taken down. Make sure that we slow down for this railroad track. <clears throat> Otherwise we'll send ourselves flying. Interesting. So, we could seed with the pickup, apparently. Interesting. A 
At least uh, with this new drill, we'll be able to seed our cereal crops a little quicker and easier. So, we're going to pull this right up here. And... So, we can sell it for $16,294. So, we're going to get rid of that. And then... <clears throat> now, let's see here. Do we want the Great Plains? And we do have optional fertilizer. Or we can go with the deer, which has a liquid tank on it. I think we'll go with the John Deere one. So let's buy that. Nice shiny drill. This is gonna really help us out a lot. It did set us back a bit in money, but you know what they say, you gotta spend money to make money. That's better. Okay. So now, let's just see here, because I'm curious. Okay, so we can run liquid fertilizer with it. Perfect. So that'll help us out quite a bit. This will be quite the help here. And maybe next season we can either upgrade our planter or um, if we keep our case planter for another season, we might look into um, adding fertilizer tanks onto it. Um, there is a kit that we can get and we can put a uh, couple of liquid fertilizer tanks on it and then put all of the liquid uh, application parts onto it as well. So might be something that we look into in the future. drop this right here and we'll pull this guy somewhere out of the way for the moment 
We're going to get it hooked up to our deer. Let's see if we can sneak by here. Nope, that is not going to happen. So. Actually, I think what we should do, let's be smart here. <coughs> We're going to just back this wagon up. Let's get it hooked up. And then we're going to pull it over here. Let's unfold it. covers and then we're going to pull over here all right now we need our pickup again so we got to grab the seed wagon Wait. And that's going to take most of the rest of our seed, which is okay. Perfect. And then we're just going to pull this guy right over here for now. it. And then we're going to grab our liquid fertilizer trailer. It's going to lined up a little better here. here. Perfect. So let's 
close those. There we go. We gotta back up a bit so we can hold up. Set this to canola. So the covers open automatically. That's interesting. We'll get this filled up with liquid. And then we'll be ready to rock and roll. So tomorrow we are going to work on uh, getting our canola seeded and getting some lime put on it and uh, go from there. So thanks everybody for tuning in today and uh, hope we'll Hope to catch you next time. Thanks for watching.